Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. In this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to hook up the uh, electronics for our radio-controlled airplane over there. It's actually quite simple, but there seems to be a little bit of confusion. It took me a bit to figure all this out myself, so definitely don't feel embarrassed if you don't know what the heck's going on, because I'm a total noob at this, but I did figure it out through a lot of searching online. Hopefully you can find this video first and save yourself some time searching. So the main components, of course, of your electronic system are your motor, your speed controller, a battery, and a receiver. That's all you really need. The battery, of course, is going to feed your motor through your speed controller. Now, here's where it gets kind of tricky. Your motor has three wires coming out if it's a brushless motor, which mine is. Brushless motors are actually AC motors. They're not DC motors. And so you have to have an external controller to drive them from a battery, because the battery is DC. You need something to convert uh, constant you know direct current here from your battery into a three phase alternating current it's three phase you can tell because it has three wires coming out now the wires coming out of your ESC and your motor may be different colors but it doesn't matter uh, a lot of times they'll be black and red sometimes they'll be a blue there's yellow there's orange whatever black and red in this case does not mean positive and negative that's just the color of wire that they made the motor with so you can hook up any, any three wires any way you want. If your motor turns the wrong way, simply pick any two wires and flip them, and it'll reverse the rotation of the motor. So you don't have to worry about that. That caused me a lot of confusion, because I, no, I, I had three black wires coming out of my motor. I had uh, three funny colored wires with just letter labels here. All those are, are the f different phases. Don't worry about the polarity, because there isn't polarity for AC. Just flip any two wires if your motor rotates the wrong way. Now this ESC, besides taking the battery and converting it to three-phase AC, a lot of them have a built-in uh, battery eliminator circuit or universal battery eliminator circuit. That's great because now you don't need a separate battery over here to feed your receiver from. There will be a standard little um, you know, receiver or whatever servo plug coming out of your uh, ESC, BEC, and you simply feed that plug into the throttle port on your receiver. So you, through the throttle port, you get power to your receiver, and then it also sends the signal from the receiver into the ESC to turn your motor the right speed. So that's all you need to have. I hope this kind of helps explain things a little bit. It's actually not that difficult. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.